Hey folks, this is Marty Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Play Shantae. Yeah, Shantae, Risky the Revenge, Director's Edition, blah, blah, too many words. So, jump down right, basically, top down. Something I forgot, there is a reason to go back here and do the Battle Tower a second time. And blah, 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 blah. Other than, you know, getting money. Money is good and relative. I meant to say yes, you stupid. Barracuda head freak with a pretty cool mustache. Anyway, uh, cause yeah, it's a, it's a good place to get money, uh, if you had noticed when we were going through it last video. But, there's also, uh, one of the Magic Jam bosses. A uh, Magic Jam you can get from here. So, there we go. So let's go and get that. Hopefully this won't be too long, because there's also a lot of other stuff that I want to do too in this particular episode. Particularly, uh, well, last video we got the force key. So I intend to do that, because that takes us to the next transformation. And so depending on what happens or how long this takes, we might do uh, some other things too. Particularly, uh, actually use the new uh, form of the game to find some treasure. But, first things first. As I said, we are going to get us another jar of magic band. Okay, thank you, and good night. You know, this place is a lot easier when I remember that I uh, have it set so I, or I have the ability that allows me to attract power-ups and pickups and things like that. So yeah, no need to destroy the doors when we've got the pipe ball, and no need to really worry about being in range to actually pick up those things. Still potentially running out of magic energy, but the pipe ball could be a problem. Ow. You suck. Sad and all of the things. Okay, let's turn that off for now because we're running low on magic. I think the next area should have some magic pickups. Yeah, not much, but it's something. So, uh, things to talk about. So, I think I mentioned this in one of the previous videos, but I've actually been playing the original Shantae recently. For some reason, like, the really, really particular reason why I decided to play the uh, original Shantae, other than the fact that I've had it on my 3DS for months, and, you know, I mean, I might as well play it at some point, why not now when I'm playing this one as well. And the more I'm playing it, the more I really, it just kind of cements the fact that I prefer this game over that one. Mostly because the first game, I mean, it had some really cool things, I think I mentioned that I prefer the dancing mechanic in that one. As the dancing actually has some mechanical sense similar to dancing. In fact, it feels sort of like a rhythm game. <sighs> Sorry about that. <sighs> awesome. No, I thought I'd stop that. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But yeah, it actually feels like a rhythm game in the way that the uh, gameplay is actually executed. Awesome. But yeah, and I do like that, and also it does seem like there's a lot more of the dances and all those different kind of things that just add a little bit more extra fun to the game. But yeah, but there's a lot of things that the more I'm playing and the more I realize that they did, I mean not just updating the sprite work, but 
the gameplay itself as original Silent Prey is very much one of those games. It feel it, it age shows in a lot of ways. Uh, for example, in this game you have the fact that your normal speed is running and then you have to hold down attack in order to walk. And it's the reverse in Shantae, and you spend most of your time holding down the attack button. That way you move quicker. Oh, you know, so you get the monkey transformation. Because that's what it's crazy. No, we still probably, because you can run while you kill, you have the ability to do even faster with the monkey by basically running. You know, the tank ball really doesn't do much good against these guys. This is a job more for the Thunder Cloud. And I really should not have done There we go. There we go. It sucked. And now you're dead. Anyway, that was saying. It does have the fact that magic is more powerful, but it's also more costly in the fact that you don't have a, uh, you know, even by drops or pick up before you get the automatic refilling magic, you don't really have anything that matches the uh, magic of its singular items. But the spells are also a lot more powerful. Uh, particularly the, with a lot of the spells seeming to be like one or two hit KOs on most normal enemies. Which is really good in the fact that the game is one of those ones where it seems to inflate difficulty of enemies with having these ridiculous amounts of health. Which is a very terrible mistake to make in the game. Just because it takes you longer to fight the enemy does not mean the enemy is tougher or more good or more challenging. It just means that it takes longer to fight them. Which is mostly the same thing that will annoy people to make your boss Oh, well, that's the boss is strange enough actually is well done, so I was one that I faced until fairly early on in the game. Okay. There we go. Ow. I mean, it is, so it does have the advantage it is a bigger game. It's probably like the one thing I don't like about this is the fact that it is a uh, really short game, in all honesty. Come on, get back over here. I'm not going to kill you if you're not trained in my attack, you stupid man. But yeah, for example, the kind of damage I'm doing to these upgraded blue knights, I think, it might only appear in this little area. Is pretty much the kind of damage just for an average enemy in the game. I mean, for example, with Nod, it does take like three hits for me to kill normally in this game. In the original, those same kind of enemies take like seven or eight hits, and it's really kind of infuriating. So, yeah, let's play the battle tower again. Woo! We got some magic jam. Woo again. I don't know. For the sake of collecting and finding all the things that was worthwhile, but it wasn't all that exciting. Yes, we do have a winner. No, I don't need to have all the fun conversation we had last time. Probably better that conversation went on for a little bit. But, now we're time to go into this cave that we went to before we went to the Battle Tower. As it is the quick way back to town. That is not what I wanted. What is up, dance? What is the dance button? There we go. I didn't know what the controls in this game are. Oh hey, I never noticed you can fling those rocks. Not that it does any good to do so, but it's a nice little touch, I guess. Or something. There we go. And this will take us back to. And that's the button I meant to press. Alright, when you're in the caves like this, it doesn't show you where you are. Die. Alright, 
believe this should take us right back to the beginning of the desert. So, that's gonna be awesome. By the way, you might wonder why I keep killing everything. Actually, not. We get putting effort in killing things. That's just. What's the, what's the Castlevania game was it? I think it was Circle of the Moon where I just I found a spell combo that pretty much did this. Where did the books go? But yeah, the reason I'm still attacking things here is oh, pretty much because the one of the achievements, well actually, we're going to need a lot of money overall, and that's killing enemies, although it's really more certain enemies, tends to be the uh, best way to go about making money. Okay, and so we want, I think the lilac field is going to get us closest to where we need to go. So off we go to use the forest key that we were given uh, by Barracuda Joe there from the Battle Tower. And is it, is it this one? Probably not. I think it's actually in the forest, yeah. Then we will come back here once we get the power off, I think. Depends, I remember. What is it the elephant starts out with? Oh, by the way, that's the new ability we're getting, kind of spoiled that there. But yes, we are getting the ability to transform into an elephant. Which is... an okay transformation. Really, in this game, it's, the monkey is probably the most generally useful transformation. But, yeah. The elephant does get some use. Like I said, the uh, third transformation is the least useful only because of the fact you really only get it. Uh, or you get it really late in the game, so it doesn't really have a lot of time for you to use it. But, yeah. The elephant at least gets some, it's just, it's, I guess it's not as universally as I mean, the increased jumping and running capabilities of the monkey are just pretty kind of universally useful concepts. There we go. Use the forest key to go into here. up and down for no reason, until we eventually come... to... Okay, maybe it's the next room, I forget where it is. Actually, yes, it is the next room. Okay, yeah. I know, I know what I'm doing. It's not totally a farce that I actually have a clue how to play this game or where I'm going. I really do know what I'm doing most of the time. There was my point in that. That felt good. <laughs> oh, hello. Why didn't I think, yeah, the pike ball can hit purple blocks too, can't it? There we go. Okay, turn that off. Dance. The monkey. Undance. Undancing a word. Whatever. I guess I suppose transform back would be more appropriate, but that's not as fun to say as undance. Whether it's really a word or not. There we go, another dancing fountain. Or a magic fountain. Or we'll learn a magic dance. Whatever. Same thing. Elephant dance. So, let's show what the elephant can do. Ta-da! Hey, jump. 
All you can do is do that. It's somewhat limit. It's somewhat useful. Though, I knew this thing does move pretty slowly. For its normal walking speed. But hey, you can spam the dash, so you can still get around fairly quickly. That's annoying. Elephant! Probably the monkey is probably overall the fastest one, just because of the fact that he can run and jump quickly. Or the elephant can just run quickly, and even then, it's kind of like in the Zelda games using the uh, roll that makes it quicker. The time it takes you to cover something out of the roll might actually be counteracting the temporary uh, higher speed you're getting. Oh, these guys! Okay. Yeah, the zombie girl we talked to earlier. These are her brothers. Abner Cadaver and Poe. <laughs> yes, that is the next quest. We have to get coffee for these guys. Yeah, that that is that's a quest we're going to need to do. Definitely a quest. Okay, anyway. So as far as the elephant, which we're going to spend the rest of the episode uh, exploring the uh, powers of the elephant, and kind of ignoring that coffee run. That'll be for a later video. Well, not much later, but you know what I mean. But the elephant can get rid of a lot of these things that we see lying around, like those. By the way, if I mentioned, I really do love these kind of shadow levels when they do them in games. Yeah! Heart holder! Which brings us up to a total of five hearts. One away from the maximum. Well, Actually, you know what? We'll probably pick up some of the stuff for the coffee run while we're out and about, because one of them does, is going to take us to here anyway. And... Yeah, I think... Let me go over here now. Here is that what I'm looking for, or is it the next rollback? The next rollback is also going to have something. Because I said, that is not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Monkey time! Fine, 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 fine. Oh, yeah, right. Animals can't use magic, never mind. Okay, so just climb up this cliff really quickly. Climb through that hole. Conventional use of the elephant. Mostly it was designed for ramming into things to break blocks, but you do technically get an invincible gas that takes you to the air. So you can do stuff like that too. Which gets us another jar of magic jam. I don't even know what we're up to at this point. A lot, that's how much. Down, jump, jump, down, 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 I don't know what I'm doing here. 
Actually, no, I do know what I'm doing here, but rather just getting out of there, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, nope, that's not what we wanted. The plane in the back row that we're looking for. There we go. Give me your money. And you die. And oh wait. Stupid background. Background lied to me. I need to go one more back. Yeah, sure. Whatever, buddy. Yeah, so I can also get those guys out of the way. And it's stop being an elephant for a while. I totally meant to do that. I don't believe when I say that anymore. Actually, I doubt, you, I doubt anybody would have believed me when I said that. Or when I would say that. Because it tends to be pretty obvious when I say that. I did not intend for that to happen. In the slightest, just trying to save face. Aha! There we go. So, yeah, I guess we'll pick up this, some of the supplies to make coffee because they're kind of on the way anyway. Dance the elephant! Save! Oh, wait, no, okay, I know what I need to do here. And I can't do it yet. Okay, so back over here. Whatever. Don't even need to use that. And we haven't even not gotten the upgraded version. Yet. Now that's gonna be some really just wrecking stuff kind of power. Okay, and ignore actually. Yeah, we're already running a bit on time here. So we'll go get the next thing. I have to pick up a few other things. Cause yeah, there's it's well it's a Metroidvania style game. The world's full of just random stuff to explore and do. Including Dangerous and lengthy sections of platforming. Get coffee beans! Actually, no. Make life easier. <laughs> okay, and then... Remember correctly... With this ability, we can get the last dramatic jam in here. And if not, we can at least get an achievement. So, right now. No, we can't get the achievement. We don't have the ability yet. Never mind. Leave that alone. We'll come back here later. I guess for the time being, we'll call this a video. Tune in next time where we go grab more random junk and stuff. Until then. Come on. There we go. Okay, until then, as always. Later, folks.